Welcome back to my channel, Licensed Immigration. Today I will be talking about the Form N-565, Application for Replacement, Naturalization, Citizenship document, as you can see on the screen. Before starting, I'm going to answer the question that some subscribers have asked and maybe you as well have. Naturalization citizenship document is to replace a certificate of naturalization or certificate of citizenship before our documents that provide official proof of U.S. citizenship. If the original certificate was lost, stolen, or required correction, the N N the N565 application is a formal request to U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services (USCIS) in parentheses to replace the document. U.S. citizens may use this form to request a replacement of certificate of naturalization, certificate of citizenship, declaration of intention, or original special certificate of naturalization as a U.S. citizen to be recognized by a foreign country. Do not use this form for the following reasons. To apply for U.S. citizenship, you should use the Form N-400 Application of Naturalization. U.S. citizens require an original certificate of citizenship should not file the N-565. It should be the Form N-600 Application for Certificate of Citizenship. Common reasons to replace a citizenship document includes if you lost stolen, has been stolen, or has been destroyed, or has been damaged, mutilated, or citizen name has changed since the document was issued, or certificate contains incorrect information. So I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to explain how to fill out this form. So let's begin. As you can see, part one is information about you. So it is asking the full name, last name, first name, middle name, date of birth, country of birth, Certificate number. The certificate number is what is the number that is on the certificate of naturalization. Hopefully, you had a copy of it. So I'm just gonna give provide whatever example. Alien number is the Number that is in your permanent resident card. Mailing address. So in this, as you can see, in this part doesn't let me fill it in. So I will use black ink to fill it in when I print out the form. Let's go to part two. Type of application. So I hear about apply. So, so you need to select one of these options. A, new certificate of citizenship, new certificate of naturalization, new certificate of reputation, or new certificate, I mean, new declaration of intention, special certificate of naturalization. B, 
basis of application, select all the applicable boxes. So you have to explain what happened to the, why you requesting a new certificate. So this person has say that it was lost or stolen. Part three, process information. So you, it's just information about yourself, biographical information. So let's say she's a female on the height. My last certificate or declaration of intention was issued me by, so you have to um, write a UCIS office. And the date that it was issued, I'm sorry, guys. So I have to look up for UCIS office. Okay. This information you could look up in Google if you need to find out the original name of the office. So let's so the day when it was issued to you the certificate. Name in which document in which the document was issued. So that means that the name of the person. Your name. Other than have used, if you used previously in other names, you must provide the information here. So I'm providing another name here because let's say that person was ma is married and she changed her name up in marriage. So her previous birth name was, it was different from the name that she has actually. On question A, since becoming a citizen, have you lost or renounced your citizenship in any manner? Let's see, no. If yes, you must attach an explanation. In part four, complete if applying to correct your document. If you are applying to change your name, let's say you lost the certificate and the certificate had another name and you had changed your name after, so you must provide this information here. Explain. So it says, if you're applying for a new certificate of declaration of intention because your current was incorrect, explain why it's incorrect and attach a copy of documents supporting your request. Let's say um, your name has changed after you um, did your naturalization, your citizenship, and you had lost, so you're applying for that lost app citizenship document, but also you want to make a correction. So you must attach, let's say, any identification, any evidence that your name has changed. Let's say if you have been if you married and you have changed your name, you could um, include here your marriage certificate or any anything that supports the change your name. So guys, remember to subscribe, activate notification bell to receive notification when I upload new video. Like the video and comment below. Thank you for your support and have a blessed day.